Hey everybody, it's Miss Art, and I'm going to show you how to make coil pots today. Coil pots are rope-like pieces of clay, and then you put them together in different ways to create containers. You can see that you don't have to make the coils just go around and around in circles and ovals. You can spiral them. You can make them go up and down. There's some more spirals. And if you don't like that, you can always smooth them out. You can even put some discs and other shapes in there too. And the base doesn't have to be a circle either. The base can be different shapes as well. So here's how you would start. The very first thing you have to do is sketch three ideas. Then you would bring your sketchbook to the teacher and show the ideas. You would then tell what you want to use the coil pot for. Then the teacher would check your notes and give you a piece of clay. So when you get your clay, first thing you have to do is roll a base. You start from the bottom and work your way up. So you take one of these rollers and you roll flip, roll flip, roll flip. If you just roll, 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 roll on one side, sometimes it will stick to the table. So that's why you have to roll until it's about oh, one fourth inch thick. So about as thick as your pinky. Okay. You do not want it tortilla thin. Next, what shape do you want your base to be? Maybe I want it to be a triangle. Well, notice I'm not cutting all the way through yet. I'm just kind of scratching to see if that's how big I want it to be. Maybe I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'll go ahead and scratch it like that. And then when I get it how I want it, I'm going to go ahead and cut all the way through. Don't get rid of this clay. You're going to use it for making your coils. There. This is a good time to scratch your name in the back. You get the idea. It's also a good time to write the year that you made it as well because we tend to keep our pottery that we make in school. We use it. So then you could look at that year and go, I made that coil pot when I was in fifth grade. So then you would take your extra pieces of clay and you would start to roll coils. They don't have to be super long. If it's getting too long, you can tear it in smaller pieces. Here's how you don't roll. Don't go like that because then it'll get flat so if your clay is looking flat like that, that's what you're doing. It should be round, like a really long cylinder. Okay, whenever you put two pieces of clay together, you have to score. Score is a word that means shallow cuts. So I'm basically just scratching the clay with this paper clip tool. But you can also use what the professionals use, and there's this scoring tool. You can see the zigzag teeth, the serrated teeth on there. So you would just go like that, that, that. This is your slip jar. It's just clay and water. So you would put a finger in. This is going to be your glue. So you put it on like this, and this, like that. And then you press and wiggle. Okay. Press and wiggle. Press and wiggle. Here's how you don't put it on. Don't pinch the clay to push it on because it's going to get skinny and that's very difficult to put another coil on top of. So all I'm doing is I just press and wiggle, press and wiggle like that. Okay. Now, next, how to move how to make those spirals. Well, again, roll another coil and then, oh, that broke. Well, no problem. I just pinch it back together. Okay. Oh, that pinched. See, you just pinch them back together and I just spiral it around until it gets as big as I want it to be. Okay. And then I can score, score where I want it to go and then slip, press and wiggle, press and wiggle. 
and there it is. So it's like that. And I would just keep going all the way around and building up. Now some people um, don't want the coils to show. They want it to be smooth. So let me show you how to smooth out your coils. But I need to build this up a little more. So let me put some more on like this. You would not smooth them out until you get pretty high up. You know, get the pot as tall as you can get it. Okay, so in the toolboxes, there should be spoons, okay? So laying down on the table, I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it in the camera. You would, first of all, you gotta wet the spoon a little bit. Again, I'm gonna hold this up, but you leave it flat on the table. I'm gonna put one hand here, and then I drag the spoon on the coils, and it will start to smooth them out like that. You gotta have this hand back here bracing it or else the pot will start to collapse like that. Speaking of collapsing, if you're going to build a pot that's gonna turn into a bowl, it's gonna get bigger, sometimes what tends to happen is they'll collapse. Don't roll up the clay. I know a way to fix that. You would get a piece of newspaper you would twist it around like this and then wrap it around your pot and that will keep it from falling until it dries. And then we take this, then you would take the paper off right before you put it in the kiln. So if yours is falling, don't start over. In fact, if anything is going wrong with your, your pot, your pottery, don't start over, don't start over, don't start over. I can help, I can help, call me over, and I can help fix things. If you start over, that increases the likelihood of you putting air bubbles inside the clay and that will make your pot blow up in the kiln because when oxygen, when air gets hot, it expands, but the clay does not. It in fact shrinks. Okay, so like that. So don't start over, don't start over, don't start over, okay? And you can just keep building up, building up, building up. Make it as tall as you have time to make it, okay? All right, that's how to make a coil pot. Have fun.